Hey Taurus, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is going to be your 10-day love forecast, July 11th through the 20th for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. You can always check your other signs to try to paint a clearer picture. If you need to get a personal reading from me, go ahead and drop down to the bottom, the uh, description box below, and you can click on any of the links. The PayPal links will get you a reading um, within seven days, depending on my schedule, and the Instant Go link will get you a reading within um, 24 hours. There, there is a PayPal 24-hour link uh, there to get a reading within 24 hours, um, but that's a video recorded reading. So um, you can go to my website, moonpietarot.com, if you need more information about that. Okay, so let's get started with your reading, Taurus. This is for love for, again, July 11th through the 20th for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, let's see. So the first card that it fell out was the Empress. The next card is the Ace of Pentacles. The Tower. You have, oops, sorry, the Four of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. Um, so ladies, some of you could be uh, pregnant or maybe you're thinking about pregnancy or you're dealing with someone who's pregnant or there's a pregnant woman somewhere in your life. This can also represent a mother figure as well. I'm trying to put these so that, you know, at least they look semi-decent. Let me try to clarify what the energy, the overall energy. So the Empress is basically, she comes across as someone who is, um, she's a good parent. She's full of abundance. The card can represent birth, new beginnings, um, filling it one with nature, a very feminine card. Um, it can represent, you know, it's funny with the Empress. Sometimes I'm, I pick up Taurus with it and sometimes I pick up Libra. So um, that could just go, that could be predominant for you at any time. Um, if you're a male, this could just be a mother figure or someone that you know who's a mother or uh, someone you're close to, either you're having a child with this person uh, or there's a baby on, on the way. It could be an uh, unexpected surprise because the tower, the tower is here, okay? That could be reminiscent of a, of a child or unexpected pregnancy coming through. Okay. This is good news though. This uh, eight of wands here in regard to this woman, there's, this is also love. So there, these could be Cupid's arrows striking you about this woman. Okay. Um, I know I say, okay, a lot. This, this is like fast, swift energy. Something all like all of a sudden you have this like this realization. So if you're male, this is this woman represents a goddess to you. If you're female, some of you may get some unexpected news, positive news about a pregnancy. Okay. Uh, if you're not, well, it could be for you. You could find out you're pregnant or um, it could be someone close to you. Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles is here. I feel like it's showing up in a lot of the readings. So the Ace of Pentacles represents, you know, uh, pro probably like a, a gift coming, an offer of some sort, substantial offer, money, uh, a job, a raise. Something new, obviously, is coming towards you. Someone makes an offer of something, um, I almost, I know it's going to sound strange for some of you women who are, um, waiting to find out about a pregnancy. This is like the, this is like spirit of the universe saying, you know, we've, you know, we're going to hand you, there's a working ovary here. So you're going to be able to, um, become pregnant. Okay. Um, it, it's almost like a gift. Like if some of you had something that was going on or an issue with an ovary, um, or, or one left, or something like along the lines that has something to do with that, that you maybe felt like you couldn't get pregnant again. This is the news that you, you know, there's a new beginning with that, that that could happen. This is a shocking, this whole thing is just coming out of the blue, I think. It's mostly a surprise about 
emotional uh, about how the passionate energy and how um, someone is feeling about this Empress energy or like if you're a male, you could suddenly realize that, you know, this you're in love um, with this Empress person. Um, and that's what that tower energy would represent. Like, wow, it just turned your whole world upside down. Like everything changed. Whatever you were really negative about in the past, now that's going to change. Okay. If you were hurt in the past, but I still see there's an energy here of being apathetic to love. Okay. Not, I mean, it's almost like there's still this feeling, but now there's like indecision or worry. Okay. Coming with this situation. And some of you could be dealing with, um, a queen of pentacles and a king of wands. So that would be an earth sign female and a fire sign male. They could be significant somehow to this reading, whoever they may be for you. So let me just pull some cards. Why this apathy and this indifference to an offer of love. Okay. Because there was hurt in the past, you've had your heart broken or someone else has had their heart broken. And, um, there could also be fear about even hearing that there's positive news, fear about losing a baby or a miscarriage. And anybody could be feeling that. Um, but yes, this has, this is what the indifference is, you know, um, it's kind of like not getting your hopes up just yet. Okay, what is the Queen of Pentacles energy? What is what is the Queen of Pentacles energy here for? Does Taurus need to know? <sighs> Queen of Wands. Okay, I want to clarify that again. So that's a female Earth sign or Fire sign, both. Some of you Taurus men have two ladies that you can't decide between. <laughs> There's too many options. Some of you have options. Some of you have choices. Uh, some of you, Taurus men, um, have someone who's pregnant. And um, now you're in a bind, aren't you? Uh, you may have a partner and then someone else may be pregnant. And now you're in, you're really up, you're really up the uh, Schitt's Creek without a paddle. So um, can't help you with that one. Um, if you're, <clears throat> if you're a female, You've got some kind of decision you need to make between the two girls or two females. Okay. Um, I just want to clarify one more time because shocking news comes to you. All they're telling me is that you need to trust your gut on each one uh, to figure out w which one makes you feel comfortable and which one makes you feel uh, uncomfortable. Okay. I'm not sure what this decision is why this is coming up for you. Even if you're a female and you like other females, you may have to decide which one is a better fit for you. Uh, especially if you're planning to try and have a child, you may have to make a decision about which female is better for you or will fit. Uh, even if you're looking for a surrogate, you may have to look at that as well. Okay. Cause there may be someone who comes through that's able to get pregnant. And um, so that there's a choice. You're going to have to trust your intuition on that. Um, for male, I mean, for females who are interested in men, um, you may be hoping that the male man that you're interested is in chooses you and not the queen of wands. Okay. Because this person may have a lot of decisions to make and may have trouble, uh, going in to try to figure out, you know, who he wants to be with. And some of you could be dealing with a fire sign male, like king of wands. Okay. Sagittarius, Aries or uh, Leo. So the Knight of Swords is here. The, the King of Wands definitely wants to have, um, he's brave. He's the knight in shining armor. He wants to do the right thing. He wants, he's, he knows his path. He's, he's got his directive. He knows um, what he needs to do. Okay. But the Empress is not as I was saying, the Empress is representing to me Libra or Taurus. And so I just kind of feel like you're, if, it, if it's you or, or if this is someone close to you, you're hoping that they're going to do the right thing. If they have to choose um, the one who's pregnant or the one who's not, I know some of you might say that this isn't going to resonate. The Hierophant is here. So the King of Wands wants to make a commitment. He wants, as I was saying, he stands by his moral, co moral code 
and he does want to do the right thing. Um, I have so many major arcana cards that get and fall here for, um, for clarifiers. The chariot is, is kind of similar to the Knight of Swords where he knows exactly the direction he's going to go. There's just no doubt about it. Um, some of you could be dealing with a water sign, but I'm really not feeling, I'm feeling the water sign. Whoever the water sign in is, is someone who um, there's a loss about that person or a feeling of loss about that person. And uh, it's still a shocking revelation. Uh, you may still be grieving over that past relationship with a water sign. It could have been a cancer. So what is the Ace of Pentacles? What does this offer? <laughs> the Ace of Wands. I'm telling you, it's like all these doubles. Uh, what is this Ace of Wands and the, and the Ace of Pentacles? What are these two new beginnings? Okay. A wish come true. So somebody's deciding there's going, I feel like there is a choice between two people, even if someone is not pregnant. Um, there is uh, Taurus, either you need to make a decision between two people. Well, Taurus, or they need to make a decision between you. I feel like it's going to be you making this decision because th you've got this good news coming to you in regard to whoever the one is, who's with child or has child seems to be the, just the choice that you will make. Okay. Um, and I'm only picking up, uh, I, I can't really, I can't feel, it's just whoever the one is, who is the mother. Okay. As far as like love goes, let me see what else do I want to clarify here? What does this wish come true? Because I see somebody wants a new beginning and, you know, um, real offer. Somebody wants a ring. Somebody wants a marriage commitment. Um, and, and I feel like that's going to come in. And someone wants a new uh, passionate beginning as well. And I feel like that's going to come in. Yeah. Somebody's trying to make a decision. Um, is going to really just put their, all their energy in to try to control this. Like somebody wants to be the winner in, in this, in this situation. And I know of course it's you, you want to win. If there's two choices being made, I'm seeing a lot of generosity and financial support here and a new beginning in love. So we have three ACE cards as well. There's going to be a little bit of conflict in regard to all of this, but really in the outcome, there's, there will be two people. They will come together. There, there is this kinship between you and another person. It's like, you've known each other for a long time. You're on the same page. You have the same desires. You mirror one another, strangely enough. And you're going to have to, someone's going to have to trust their gut about making a decision. That's all I can say, really. I can't, I'm not really, I mean, I do feel like it's, it, it, you will be the one who's chosen <clears throat> or you will choose. Um, if you're a male, I'm not sure who, you, who you're going to choose. You have to trust your gut with this, really trust your intuition because I feel like there's confusion. But female, I feel like you you are the one who will be chosen. Let me have and see if they'll give me what will what what will the outcome be with the Queen of Wands versus the outcome with the Queen of Pentacles? Okay. So many kings here. So the Queen of Pentacles is currently with a an air sign, and that's someone that they are um just bonded with. And the queen of wands, she's kind of like foolish in some ways. She's a risk taker. I, I think the risk will be taken with the queen of wands. Um, if you're male, um, because I feel like if you're male, the queen of pentacles is kind of already with someone in some way. But if you are female, um, you have to choose between these two. This King of Swords is kind of like, it's like, like if you choose the Queen of Pentacles, you're going to have to also get, you get the King of Swords also. But probably 
it would be a risk for you to choose the queen of wands. Okay. But still you have to trust your intuition with this situation. You have to trust your gut on this because I don't, you may not be ready to make a decision between these two people. You might need a little bit more time, but I do feel like things are going to work out. Let me see what your love advice is here. very soon. <laughs> Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, so don't have to do it in within these 10 days, but do focus on making a decision about what you want to do. And if you're a male, you need to do the same thing. Okay, you, like seriously, stop playing. Everyone needs to stop playing <laughs> and just actually, you know, okay, like get to business, figure out what you're going to do. Because if you're a male and you're playing these two women, you know, you need to figure it out and you need to like pick a, pick a lane. Like you need to figure out about which lane you're going to plan to drive in and stay in that lane. You know, passing lane is just for passing. And if, you know, most people stay in one lane and, you know, if you're a female, you're going to have to make a decision about either, you know, just know that these, this queen of wands and the queen of pentacles can also represent men. So, you know, the, the guidance is it may be foolish for you to choose the fire person, the fire sign. And you may um, have difficulty with this queen of pentacles because, you know, there's some attachment to um, a uh, king of swords for some reason. Uh, however, that would work out for you. I'm not sure. Um, you know, you might have... Um, some of you um, Taurus females might find out that the person that you're trying to choose, ha, um, is bisexual and that, that may come into play by why the decision could be difficult for you. Okay. Because you may not know for sure. And you may need to figure out if that's true, or if that person is dating, uh, you know, either another man, or if that person is, dating another female, you know, some of that, those issues, not that it's an issue, but if it's not up your alley, you may need to make a decision about that as well. Okay. Um, so I just feel like, you know, however the en energies play out, I know it's kind of jumbled messages, but I feel like there's a lot of things that are coming up here that could have, it has to do with the mother. It has to do with possibly a birth. It has to do with news that's coming through. You could be a mother, a mother-in-law, and you could be having difficulty with two daughters. One could be pregnant um, by a king of swords. Um, one, uh, he and that king, and someone's having an affair. It could be that as well. And you may, you know, be having to like decide how you're going to try to help her or try to help her be involved in this. Okay. And if you're a male, same thing, you have to choose between these two women, but you have to trust your gut in that. Okay. Just make sure you're going to make a decision at some point. Don't hold, don't hold them off any longer. Okay. Those were your messages. I hope that I was able to help in some way and I will talk to you guys in a few weeks. All right. Take care. Bye.